Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Becca and we are doing a week of solo parenting and packing orders and just living life. So I thought that I'd start another vlog today. Daniel is away on a work trip and admittedly I am not handling it very well this time. I was an upset tummy girl last night and I don't know, I think it was just anxiety belly, but like I hate anxiety belly. It literally felt like the first trimester of pregnancy all over again. I'm not pregnant, please nobody ask. <laughs> I am not. But yeah, I took Pepto-Bismol for the first time in, gosh, since like in two years, I think, because I got pregnant around this time two years ago. It was just a sweet, sweet, delicious treat. <laughs> I love Pepto-Bismol so much and you can't take it while you're pregnant or nursing. So we have officially weaned, which I definitely want to have a more in-depth discussion on that. I know that not everybody cares about that kind of stuff, but I do think it's really important, like just for me as well, to share a part of my story and our story. And we have weaned at this point. She's 16 months. So it's been about a month, basically ever since I went back to Missouri to work on the house. She, I think she only nursed like one or two times after that, but yeah. I was kind of hoping that that trip would be the final push to be done because at, like at that point, there really wasn't much left anyway. There was only one side that was producing and it was, yeah, I was kind of done. I'm glad that I nursed as long as I did. It was really special. I miss it already. It's just a really sweet time to like cuddle with your baby or toddler or whatever because now we never get that and it does make me really sad because she's like always up and around and running around and moving which is great like obviously she's a kid and that's what she's going to be doing but yeah it's not just this little like two second comfort and then she runs away and then she comes back because that's kind of what it was turning into and i was just like okay i'm not a toy <laughs> this week is basically just going to be me packing orders from my last merch launch and also contacting the company. I found a local company to do my next merch launch because my last one, I used an online company and it was great. Like I didn't have any issues, but they do, and they do a lot of merch for probably a lot of people do it this way, but I just prefer to do it locally so that I can like actually see the things like tangible. Um, and I also really want my next line to be screen printed if it can be. I did get the final proof of the holiday design that I commissioned from my friend Brie. It's so good, you guys. Like it's so, good i'm so excited about it truly it's so cute so i'm just yeah again i'm just really excited it's not christmas specifically it's just really winter i wanted it to be more inclusive to a bunch of different people like if you don't celebrate christmas i don't want someone to feel weird wearing it and also i wanted it to just be wearable through the whole winter season so I'm hoping that we accomplish that. I think it's so cute. I'm really, really excited about it. We need to finish up this chapter. I have some really cute shipping materials. I just wanna show you guys everything. So for the boxes, I have foldable boxes. I wanted it to be kind of a cute, like, ooh, we open a box rather than just like a slice the top and open it. I don't know, I just, the experience. I, I went a little extra on this one. Um, and then for the closure, I, I'm also gonna close it with tape, like just to be sure. But for the actual closure, I got this custom tape made and I have so much of it. I think there's a thousand stickers here, which is so much. That was the minimum that I could order. But yeah, I had I seen like an in-person proof of this before I purchased, I maybe would have made a few changes, but it is what it is. Like, I don't hate it at all. I think it's really cute still. Um, and I feel the same about the tissue paper. These types of things, ordering them online is so hard, like not getting like an in-person proof. And like, because of the nature of these this type of product, I don't think you can even get like a singular or like a small run to like see what it would look like. But anyway, this is the tissue paper. It's the cross stitch plant on a diagonal. So that's what it's gonna look like. And yeah, with this one, I might've made a slight change like by making the plants smaller and closer together, like having more plants, but it's okay. 
I don't hate it. I love the color, like the white and the green is cute. Then this bag contains all of the sticker goodies. The first 25 orders got a sticker sheet. These are just mini vinyl stickers of all of the cross stitch pieces. And I love this so much. I think this is absolutely adorable. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to keep one myself because I only ordered 25, but I can reorder them and maybe offer that like as something that someone can buy on the site. But anyway, I, at this point I only have the tote bags because the shipping on getting these items has been really frustrating. Like I don't know why, but I was supposed to get them last week, but I only got the tote bags yesterday, midday, and then today I still, well, yeah, I don't even know if I'm going to receive the shirts today. I should. I'm going to comb through my orders and see if there's any orders that were just tote bag and stickers or just books and stickers or something like that because I also sold some uh, books because I have a bunch of those. So yeah, that's gonna be my morning basically, just getting that done and getting them in the mail so that people can start receiving these because I did do a pre-order because just personally, I had no idea how much, how many people would want these items and how much of each size. Like I just feel like it's such a gamble to just buy everything in advance because what do you do when you have like three smalls left and one extra large, it's like, mm, hey anybody anybody out out there is an extra large i'll give you 10 percent off like i don't know like it just feels silly and almost irresponsible in my opinion like especially with an audience of my size like i know that um the numbers of sales is going to be very really like unpredictable so i'm glad that i did do a pre-sale but it does just like I'm, i've been living in anxiety ever since the pre-sale closed because i'm like okay i gotta get these items out as soon as possible because people paid money and they don't want to wait weeks and weeks for the product anyway speaking of anxiety last night as i mentioned i had anxiety belly and really the only thing that's helping me lately when i get anxiety at night is watching Pride and Prejudice. Okay, I just got back. I decided to go with this gold leaf looking one. It's very cute and I have a hundred of them. So I will be good for this launch and hopefully the next one. Actually, I'm gonna manifest having to go buy more. That's what we're gonna do because I'm really hoping the next launch will be successful too. <laughs> been a couple days since I last checked in and I have not filmed at all this week like I thought I would. It is very hard to film when you purposely don't show your child and yeah I just was in the thick of parenting all week. We are still adjusting to the daycare thing although this week is a lot better. She's not crying anymore at drop off which is a huge win it also helps that i'm dropping off like right when they're doing something fun but yeah daniel's coming home today i don't even know why my voice sounds like this by the way i was sick for like two days but i was able to take medicine like for the first time since i've been pregnant like cold medicine and <laughs> my door just started opening that's scary i think it's just the wind not at all something spooky <laughs> anyway what was I talking about? Oh yeah, so I was sick and I'm still dealing with like the aftermath, the, the mucus aftermath, but I'm feeling so much better and I healed super fast because I was able to take medicine. Um, you can take medicine when you're pregnant and breastfeeding, but like only certain types of medicine and sometimes they're not as effective, you know how it goes. Like I said today, Daniel's coming home and I'm walking into my plant room after really not being in here very much at all the last couple of days and things are needing some water. So I'm probably gonna do some watering of plants. And oh, I need to make a main channel video go live. I need to do a thumbnail for that video and then make it go live. And I'm gonna pick up Daniel in like, I think an hour. Actually, I should check the time. It might be sooner than that. I don't know how much watering I'll get in because I can't leave my plants outside after watering them anymore because the wind is just too strong here. The leaves get ripped off, which sucks. That happened with my Albo Monstera, which was looking like such a queen. And then the newest leaf 
freaking got ripped off. I was so upset. And thankfully it is putting out a new leaf like really soon after, but that was tragic and sad. So anyway, that's the update. I don't have much else to say besides that. I'm gonna check the time and water as much as I can. And yeah, that's the day. Hello everybody and welcome to my garage, my workshop, if you will. <laughs> So I have just finished today working on my newest plant installation. This is a plant hanger, a very gigantic plant hanger, and it's ugh, something I've been dreaming up for a couple of months and I finally did it. I'm feeling pretty proud of it. I did learn a lot from this project though. I feel like if I was to make it again, I would do things differently, but I am still proud of how it turned out and it's going to function very well for what I'm doing. I am going to be hanging it from the ceiling like so. <laughs> I am going to have a pulley system that's going to raise it and lower it so that I can tend to, so that I can tend to my plants. But now that this project is done, I had to do a lot of sanding to even things out. This side is definitely the pretty side. I did a little bit of routing to create a channel and then I sandwiched this, oh my gosh, this center piece of wood between and it went better on some than others. When it's on the ceiling and there's a bunch of plants all over it, I don't think you're really going to notice. Plus if at some point I want to try again and like redo it, it wasn't that expensive and also wasn't really that hard. There's a few things that I would do differently if I was to ever build it again. So we're gonna like live with this first iteration because I was kind of taking a long time to get started on it because I wanted it to be perfect. And it's definitely not, <laughs> it's definitely not perfect. <laughs> um, but that's okay because it's done. I am prioritizing showing up and having something finished more than I'm prioritizing being perfect, you know? So if you follow along on my main channel this week, you will see the installation of that. I already have one, well, I have like some of the hardware that I'm going to use to hang it, but you guys, I found this whole system and I'm gonna talk about this on my main channel, so I won't talk about it too much here, but I was kind of puzzled as to how exactly I was going to hang it, like with the pulleys, because that was like the whole point of this. Sorry, I just hit my mic. That was like the whole point of this and was going to make this whole installation like extra functional. But I found something from looking around on TikTok, pulley systems and all of those things, and it was mostly workout <laughs> pulley systems. <laughs> which is not what I was looking for. But this is something called a laundry assist pulley. So you can see there is a platform very similar to what I built. And then we have a pulley up here. We have a pulley right here and then one right here to go down. Now, the more pulleys you have, the lighter the work is. And I only have one currently. So I am going to go get two more to just completely mimic this exact system because I think it's genius and I'm really, really excited about it. This picture also gave me a lot of clarity as to how these things even work because I was very, just yeah, had never built a pulley system, had never seen someone build a pulley system and I wasn't able to find someone doing exactly what I'm doing, but this is basically exactly what I'm doing, except it's gonna be holding a lot of weight. So like more, more weight than clothes, let's say. So anyway, I did get a little bit more of a heavy duty pulley like I think it has a capacity of like 400 pounds I'm just erring on the side of caution to not have this like fall down but yeah I'm just gonna get a couple more of those and I need two more and a few other items and then we will be good to make this I'm so excited but I need to clean up and I also wanted to show you our tool organization as of right now because our tools was another huge pain point in our old house that was always really disorganized and scary like honestly just very scary so we're gonna clean up all the sawdust and i'm gonna clean up the tools and put away everything which is another another thing that i am trying to instill in my brain like i know that we learned how to do this in first grade but i am so bad at cleaning up after myself like when i finish a project my brain is already like checked out and onto the next thing. 
and we can't be doing that, you know, because then all of your projects run together and then you're just living in a disorganized mess. And I don't want to live like that anymore. So we're starting new habits in the new house and we're going to clean up after ourselves the day that we finish a project. This is life changing. Welcome to my garage workspace. This area was already here when we moved in, which is like one of the best things in the whole world. I am so happy that it was already here. We didn't have to build this. As you can see here, we have all of our power tools. There are a couple more that are not hung up right now and they are in these. These bins I still have not cleaned out from when we moved. They just have a bunch of odds and ends and now they have some spare wood in them and drills and sander and you know. So I will be expanding this. I just need to get more hooks. We have the batteries up here with the chainsaw. Our old tool shed, tool shed, what is this called? Toolbox is here. A lot of these tools used to be inside of this and I've since moved a lot of it out, but we do still have like some wrenches and oh, a few other little things, little bits and bobs, all of these. What are these called? Pliers? I don't know. Anyway, some things are still in here, but a majority of our hand tools are up on this wall, which is really good because Daniel and I both have ADHD. If you didn't know, a double ADHD house is a little hard. <laughs> so I am discovering that if things are always displayed, then I'm always able to find them. And when I remove something, I know, oops, okay, that hook's a little faulty, but you know, there's an empty spot here now. So I know that something is supposed to go there. I really like when, everything has a place that just makes it a lot easier to manage all of the things so i am learning with tools and craft supplies specifically that definitely applies these are all probably going to be moved though when i hang up the rest of the tools i'm just going to have them all on this side so this is all going to be moved probably to like over here but yeah so i've got another hammer thing, which I really don't like these hooks for hammers because I have to like pull the hammer all the way up and then I'm hitting all these other tools in the process. So I'm still kind of trying to think of what to do for hammer storage, but yeah, everything else, we got a, what is this called? A band something. We've got a bunch of screwdrivers. We have our chisels all lined up. Um, this is a chalk thing, like a snap chalk thing. We've got some plumber's tape. I don't know why that's there specifically, but we always are looking for this. Not always, but there's been many occasions where we did not know where it was. And I think we have like three or four of these, so <laughs> it's here on display. <laughs> Wire brush, level, you know, I don't need to name everything, but yeah. Cable ties, we never knew where the cable ties were. That's why we have two packs because we had to rebuy them one time. Measuring tape right angles, squeegee, more clamps, you know, the works. And then we have some larger garden tools here, some shovels and a hoe. And yeah, so I still need to figure out more. Well, actually I do think I'm just gonna get more hooks like these, these black ones um, and hook it like in between so that I can just have all of these like large garden tools over here because we have a couple more in another corner of the garage. But this has been life-changing and there's still like more to organize and like clean up and figure out like how we wanna organize things. But the next thing, the next like big pain point that we had surrounding tools and supplies and everything else was screws. So we were always buying screws um, whether or not we really needed them because we couldn't find them and <sighs> super annoying just really annoying they do eventually get used but it is frustrating to when you're like starting a project and then you realize like oh shoot I need two inch screws 
and I don't have any. So I got this screw organizer and this bag has a bunch of screws in it. Most of them are honestly loose in there, which is just super stressful. We're going to organize them all and that will be the last task of this video.